Hi there guys and girls, welcome back to Kitchen Table Modelling. This time we have the AFV Club's CVRT, well, scimitar, in 135th scale. Lovely box art. Unfortunately for this kit, the instructions do leave a little bit to be desired. Um, but quite easy to follow and whatnot all the way through. Do love their little cartoons of the different variations of the CVRT family. But the main downfall of these instructions is the um, paint guide from right at the very end as it's not particularly clear on some of them and also even though it's printed in a different country, um, British Royal Army NATO. Hmm. I think they need to uh, go and check their grammatical dictionaries a little bit. But then once again on the back, last final two versions. Okay, onto the plastic. So, from what can be seen, quite crisp details like around the wheels, mud guards, uh, two variations of sprockets, early type and late type. It's nice to see. Onto turret stowage, gun mantlet, side bins, nicely uh, printed, no flash on them and no visible ejection uh, pin marks, which is nice. Onto the turret. So this is the same turret um, they use in their Scorpion kit. Literally, it says it on the sprue. FV101 Scorpion. Um, it is the same turret on both vehicles. They're just been modified slightly. Um, running gear, so suspension components, nice and crisp, no flash. Once again, that's from the Scorpion kit. Then onto the main hull of the vehicle, which is not marked up if it's from Scorpion or not, but I assume it would be as they are pretty much, yeah, there it is, right on the very edge, um, as they are identical. But once again, nice and crisply moulded, no flash, it's really nice. And then onto the tracks, which are for rubber band tracks, quite nice, they're not too thin, they've got a bit of give to them as well. So enough of me waffling on, let's get on with the build.
Right then guys and girls, so I'm going to call this little one about done for now. Um, very enjoyable kit to build. I managed to test out some new rust techniques, which we're very pleased with. Um, leaving it just as a plain vehicle for the time being, as I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it just yet. But we shall see. Um, so I just want to say thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.